This is a research library at the University of Kansas. And we're going to see an original copy of Origin of Species. But I have to find Joe first. In here. Oh, yeah. In the supply closet. No, that's no. a vault. <laughs> oh, that is not a supply closet. <laughs> Joe! I did. He wanted to see where Darwin usually sits on the show. This is, this is where, this is where the Darwin book usually sits. Right here? But this is, yeah. But this is usually locked. This is not what I was, is this what you were expecting? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I was expecting. It's, 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 a, it's a secure spot. So, so where's the book? Oh, it's the book, the you walked right past it. It's You're kidding me, well, you show us the Yeah, no, show us the book. It's over here, come in. You'll like this. I will? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. So this is it. This is the first edition. Yeah, you can tell because on page 20, which right. we're looking at here, down about 11 lines, the word species is misspelled. Oh my goodness, S-P-E-C-E-I-E-S. -E -E yeah, there's an extra E after the C, when the sound is E. No, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, yeah, it got fixed in the second edition. How many first editions are out there? Well, there were 1,250 in the print run. They, they sold out, uh, the, the, they, they went like hotcakes, uh, the first edition. <laughs> And uh, I'm, in the, I'm actually in the process of tracking down a lot of them. I've seen, I guess I've seen probably six or seven by now. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to turn these into cult, these icons. You know, it, it's, it, it's not a, sh a relic. <laughs> it's not an illustrated manuscript from the 15th century. It's a book. But I just think it's so cool that um, it's a book that has one of the most powerful ideas in human thought of where the living species on the planet came from. And it, it really, it's part of this whole uh, scientific tradition of taking man's place out of the center of the universe. It changes us and makes us part of nature. This book, and this book has become the centerpiece for a change in the way humans think about themselves. It's really cool.